Okay. Here we are. We have our first max, uh, max object that we're going to discuss here. So, um, all right, we have a max patch. Uh, actually, technically, this is a sub patch. So this is the max patch here. But we're just going through all this stuff. So this is a screencast about um, uh, called max. Uh, this sub patch is called max object. And uh, we're going to talk about this object called random. So I like talking about random as a first object. It's a pretty simple thing. Um, I guess when I'm learning a programming language, I always try and figure out what the, how to make a random number. It seems like a good place to start. Um, so making a random number is something you often want to do in a pro any programming language. And in Max, the way you do it, there's an object that they've created uh, called random. And all it does is create random numbers. So we'll unlock the patch. So remember, Command E, unlock, toggles, lock, and unlock. And, uh, or you can just click on this little lock icon or you can command click in the background area to toggle locked or unlocked. So I've got this empty object here that I created by just hitting the N key or saying, let's see, is there a menu? Can you actually do like new object? Where, I don't even know how to do that. Object. N. N? As far as like short keys. But the, is there like a, if oh, you're gonna go uh, to a yeah, menu? In the very top next to 100%, like next to your percentage. Oh, just you just, just click on this. Oh, and drag. okay. Yeah, you could drag this off to make an empty object, but uh, nobody, I think nobody does that. I mean, yeah. no. Nobody does that. Once you learn the short keys, I think your life will change. Yeah, <laughs> I never, frankly, I never ever, I mean, very rarely do I ever go up here to look for these objects. No, but I've discovered a lot of students do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it just depends on, obviously, how you use it. Yeah, when I was starting off, this was like way, there was nothing like this. It was, Max was just an empty window. Um, okay, so I'll make an N. I'm gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna type random. Oops, A N D random. Let's say 100. So we got random 100. Um, okay, so 100 is the argument. Random is the object name, and 100 is a, a, mm. is a sort of a, an argument that you add in, and you need a space between random and 100, or else it won't work. So random 100 is telling the random number generator to generate a random number with a range of 100. Now. The way that it's a little counterintuitive, but um, like, okay, so random six, when a button is connected to random six, when you click that button, it's gonna generate a random number actually between zero and five. So the range is six, that's why the six is in there, but it always starts at zero. So when you start at zero and you have a range of six, that means the maximum number you can generate is a five. Mm -hmm. So um, when I click this, it generates, random numbers. So usually they're different every time, but you can get duplicates. So you could easily, just like rolling a die, you could roll a die and get like a six twice in a row. Uh, you can hit this and get the same number twice in a row. There are ways to prevent that if you really have to. But uh, every time I click it, I'm getting a random number um, between zero and one less than the argument that you've specified. So let's do it again over here. Uh, we'll make a new object and type in button. Or B. Or, oh yeah, you can hit a B. Oh, that's cool. So you can just use the B key mm -hmm. button. And then you need to, I'll put the number somewhere. So let's let's use the print object. So print, and then we'll open up our console and see, whoa, and see what numbers get printed here. So, um, all right. So doot, doot, doot. every time I click it, I get a random number between zero and 99. Okay, that's that's random. That is the random object. What am so, I missing here? Um, you're missing is that this was not supposed to be about the random object. It was supposed to be about what an object is. Oh, thank you. Right. Okay. Objects. <laughs> we might want to start over. Yes. This is an. This is my example of what an object is. Mm -hmm. So, random is an object. Uh, objects have inlets on the top and outlets on the bottom. That's how Max works. Inlets are always on the top. Outlets are always on the bottom. So stuff goes in these little. I don't know what do you call these ports little inlets. These are inlets on the top, these little circles. And um, usually the one on the far left is like the primary one or the most important one. Um, and same with the outlets are on the bottom. So something comes into the inlet and random is sitting there listening for, uh, you know, it's like, I consider it like a little guy. Right. There's a little guy in there. He's listening for Sweet. button presses to come in. As soon as a button press comes in, He's gonna like do roll, his job. roll a die and <laughs> do his job and, and come up with this random number and then 
send it out the outlet. He doesn't really know what's going on. <laughs> Random doesn't know or care what's going on outside in the world yep. around it. It's just listening for a button press, and when it hears it, it's going to quickly generate a random number and spit it out the outlet. So, yeah, that's pretty much universally true in Macs. Out inlets are always on the top. Outlets are always on the bottom. I think that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. You can have multiple inlets. Inlet one is the first one. The first inlet, inlet number one, is always the leftmost one. And then they, you can have a. There are some objects that have lots of inlets, and some objects that have lots of outlets. Um, but that is the basic Max object model. Mm -hmm. um, there are hundreds of Max objects, as we saw in the reference. Um, Just gonna note that. But mm -hmm. you do not have to know. It's like, what do they say? You can like can go to a foreign country and get by really well with like what what do they say like a hundred words if you know a hundred words in a language you can basically live in that country that's interesting okay yeah i think the same thing is true for max right i mean it's you can know like a hundred if you know a hundred max objects of the most important ones like see you, i think if you know 20 max objects even yeah you can get by yeah especially if one of those is how to find the help yeah, it's like yeah, it's like how to you know, if you're in a foreign country, you have to know how to ask for the bathroom, right, right, or, or like more beer, please. <laughs> the important things. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's the basic max object. Yep. Okay.